Uh -oh. A Somerville man wants answers after Shelby County Sheriff's deputy shot and killed his fiance. 43-year-old mother of three, Melissa Horton, was killed over the weekend in Bartlett. Here's WREG Shea Arthur with an emotional plea. This is heartbreaking. These pictures show the good times Preston Moore shared with his fiance, Melissa Horton. The memories made before she was shot and killed by Shelby County Sheriff's deputies over the weekend. She's most, I mean... Yes, I could always hear you guys. I hear you now. Wow. This is, this, we gotta, we gotta do something. We gotta get the word out about this. This good old Gladder Queen got shot down. Shot and killed by Shelby County Sheriff's deputies over the weekend. She's most, I mean, look at her. Yes, I could always hear you guys. I hear you now. I've ever seen in my life. They just killed her. Yeah, I talked to Nicole before the start of the show. They just shot her like a dog, man. The heartbreak unfolded Saturday night after domestic disturbance between the couple at their Somerville home. Morris. Oh, so y'all were fighting. Night after domestic disturbance between the couple at their Somerville home. Morris saying Horton had been drinking heavily. They started arguing after he told her she needed to get help. He called police after she got a shotgun and hit him with it. She was a great. <laughs> okay, it makes sense. <laughs> he called police after she grabbed a shotgun and hit him with it. Yeah. Turn of events. Yeah, shit, shit went left. Let's just put it like that. Burton had been drinking heavily. They started arguing after he told her she needed to get help. He called police after she got a shotgun and hit him with it. She was a great mom, but she had a drinking issue. But, you know, we worked through it, and, you know, and I stuck with her because I loved her. Horton left the home. Deputies eventually stopped her in Bartlett off Golden Valley Lane and Ellis Road. Right now, it's unclear what led to the shooting. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation is now handling the case. Morris. No one gives a shit what happened to the shoot. No one is going to demand, investigate. No one's demanding the body cam. No one's clamoring for more information, answers now. It, it really doesn't matter what happened to this woman. America doesn't give a shit. Now, if this was a fucking black crackhead, 89-pound crackhead, with a fucking goddamn a thousand arrests, four teeth, and a patch over his eye, and a goddamn stub for a fucking right leg, with fucking um goddamn no family members. Basketball players would be tweeting about it. Celebrities would be tweeting about it. Fucking Kamala would be visiting fucking friends because you don't have no family. This white woman, America just does not give a fuck. Drunk, violent white woman. No one cares. No one cares. We don't even, we're not even going to know what happened. Like, we're not going to know how this turned out. This will be no follow-up. It's gonna be no fucking it's gonna be no fucking um oh yeah um we just just then uh our reporters found out what happened nothing just see that there might be a blurb <laughs> on a on the uh news channel uh you know website that's bit about, about it Somebody said if she was trans, <laughs> yeah. but no one gives a shit. You gliders have made you gliders have painted yourself into a fucking quarter. This is this is a straight like no one gives a shit. When this happens to you, And she could have been dead wrong, but we're not even going to find out if she was dead wrong. Lane and Ellis Road. Right now, it's unclear what led to the shooting. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation is now handling the case. 
Morris does not believe Horton would point a gun at deputies. They had her corner. I mean, there was no place for her to go. I'm sure she was just terrified. You know, I mean, the cops are, you know, they're, they're intimidating. And the love that she gave me and the love that she gave her kids and, you know, and it was just heartbreaking that, I mean, I, I feel bad that he would freaking call the police. I mean, police are supposed to be here to protect and serve. He thinks her large e-cigarette may have been mistaken for a weapon. He thinks more could have been done to negotiate with the mother of three before her death. He now wants to make sure she's remembered for the bright light she was to loved ones. She may not have been perfect, but she was perfect to all her friends and me and her kids. Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel. Was she perfect when she hit you upside the head? With yeah. Jack? She may not be perfect, but she had a good left hook. Yeah. yeah, perfect form with her jab. All three. And the Shelby County Sheriff's Office told us it is not releasing the number of deputies involved or their identities at this time. We also See, I told you. <laughs> look, look, look how they talk to gliders. They would never talk to some people like this. All three. And the Shelby County Sheriff's Office told us it is not releasing the number of deputies involved or their identities at this time. We also reached out to the TBI. <laughs> Fabian, man, how did y'all get here, man? Hey, that's uh, there. There's a there's a uh, a complex scholarship about how we got here. I don't know if this channel quite is the is is the scope or the place for that, but I'm sure you're aware. They basically they basically told you Gladys, fuck off. I mean, yeah, in a <laughs> to to put it succinctly, yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's what's going on. Oh shit! Well, and the thing is, like the the sun the sun people part in that is that they've been recruited to assist in that project. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is hysterical, man. I'm telling you, man. It's wow. All three. And the Shelby County Sheriff's Office told us it is not releasing the number of deputies involved or their identities at this time. We also reached out to the TBI to get more clarity about the moments surrounding the shots fired. So far, we have not heard back. <laughs> God damn. Look at the way they treat y'all, man. God damn. Are you familiar? I assume you're familiar with. Um, do you remember Mohammed Noor and Justine <laughs> Mohammed Noor and Justine? Yeah, Mom? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's under the rug. I mean, they would never talk. <laughs> they would never talk to some people like this. Oh, the police shooting! Oh my God! It wouldn't matter. The dregs of Sunnestad. It wouldn't matter who it was. They would never speak to us like this, man, after a police shoot. Never. Channel 3. And the Shelby County Sheriff's Office told us it is not releasing the number of deputies involved or their identities at this time. We also reached out to the TBI to get more clarity about the moments surrounding the shots fired. So far, we have not heard back. <laughs> the TBI investigation. I mean, that's too funny, man. I'm, I'm just like, man, that's just too funny, man. I can't even lie to you, man. Like, that's too funny, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so funny, man. The TBI investigation continues into a deputy-involved shooting over the weekend that killed a Fayette County woman. And tonight, we're learning more about that woman, Melissa Horton. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. And I'm April Thompson. Officers say she was behind what started as a domestic fight outside Somerville and ended in a shooting in Bartlett. Still a lot of questions about exactly what happened when a Shelby County Sheriff's deputy spotted a car driven by 43-year-old Melissa Horton near this intersection at Ellis Road and Golden Valley Lane in Bartlett Saturday. We know gunshots were fired and Horton died. TBI is now investigating since an officer was involved.
For reasons still under investigation, as officers approached the vehicle, shots were fired and the driver was struck. The female driver, who was the only individual in the vehicle, was pronounced deceased at the scene. Horton's father told us he had spoken to her shortly before the shooting, but he didn't want to say anything else, saying he is just waiting for answers. The Fayette County Sheriff's Office says Horton had been involved in a domestic altercation with her fiancé at this house near Somerville earlier in the day. They say she pulled a gun and hit her fiancé with it and left. It's not clear why Horton ended up in Bartlett or exactly what happened when Shelby County Sheriff's deputies spotted her car and okay, tried so there's no update. I thought it was an update, but then they went So um, I... This story got covered by uh, three news channels, and uh, they're all on Twitter. There's one comment. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sorry, man. I'm not laughing. It's RIP to this woman. I'm not laughing like to try to like mock her death or anything, but I'm laughing at how like how y'all got here, man. I mean, like. <laughs> It's like the cop could have literally been in the wrong. They just not, they don't feel the need. They don't feel like they have to fucking tell you what. This is like a break for them. Like when it's a sun man, it's like, oh shit. Um, sorry guys, you guys are going to have to take this one. You guys are going to have to go do some time or y'all going to get fired. People's heads are rolling. The whole fucking department's in fucking panic mode. Everybody's trying to cover their ass. People throwing each other under the bus. White woman is like, look, <laughs> we'll get back to you about this sometime, man. Just stop calling us, man. Don't call us, we'll call you. And that's it. This is like a break. This is like basically literally a break for them. They get to relax on this one. Fucking crazy. How did y'all get here, man? I don't know how y'all got here. Let's see. It's Desmond Mills Jr. lost his job with the Memphis Police Department 10 days after Tyree Nichols lost his life. Now the fired officer facing criminal charges in Nichols' death has lost the right to be a law enforcement officer in Tennessee. Mr. Mills has taken the position that, uh, well, if you don't want me to work for you, guess what? I don't want to work for you anyway. Uh, the state of Tennessee has wrongfully accused him of murder and other crimes, uh, why would he want to continue to be employed by them? Blake Ballin represents Mills in the criminal case. He's also serving as his attorney in a matter with the Tennessee Peace Officer Standards and Training, or POST Commission. In late January, MPD filed a request with POST to decertify Mills, and there's an informal hearing on that decertification request Thursday. But Ballin confirmed Mills decided to voluntarily surrender his certification. What, is he, what does Mr. Mills have to gain by, by contesting this? Uh, he has a, a criminal indictment pending against him where he's facing decades in prison. And facing that time, Ballin says, means he and Mills must spend theirs wisely. He has limited resources, limited energy, just like all of us do, and he has wisely chosen to focus those on defending himself in the criminal case. So uh, this is essentially meaningless to him. Uh, so there is absolutely no reason for him to contest this. Frankly, there's no reason for any of these officers to contest this. Uh, they're going to revoke their certification. Three other former MPD officers involved in the Nichols case are scheduled for that informal hearing in Nashville Thursday. Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin, and Justin Smith. Preston Hemphill and Tadarius Bean were also originally scheduled to appear, but I spoke with their attorneys who say those have been put off. As for Mills, Ballin reiterated they need to deal with the criminal indictment first, but said if and when Mills wants to be an officer again, he can go through the process of applying for certification in another state. Zanetta. Salute to Margaret G, man, for Cash App, man. She says, spring break and happy hour, make it to hour four. Oh, make it to hour four. Yeah, yeah, we got to check out what's going on in spring break tonight, man. The TBI a Somerville we're gonna, man. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go down to spring break in a minute, man. Um, yeah, Memphis, golly, man, Memphis, man. Let, let, let's get out of Memphis, man. Let me get out of Memphis, man. I never, I'll never get out of Memphis if I don't if I don't make a concerted effort to get out of here, man. Um, let's just do this one, man. Cut it off, huh? for a Memphis mother who calls this beautifully decorated house a home. 
The Lord hears all our prayers. The Lord is our shepherd. On any given day, you will find her praying in opposition to what she calls the ugly face of crime with hopes others will see for themselves God is good.